Now, to find the rate constant, uh, you pick your favorite uh, one of these three, whichever one you feel like. Um, so we'll just pick one because we want to be number one. And the rate one equals k times a to the m, b to the n. Uh, so rate one is 12.6. Uh, and that's molarity per second uh, equals k. We don't know k. A is 0 0.60 to the second power. B is 0 0.30. And again, I'm reading this first line right here. To the first power. And I solve for k. k is going to turn out to be 1.2 times 10 to the 2. Uh, how do we find the units? Let's try to find the units. This is molarity per second. I get this straight from the table. And I know A and B are both in molarity. So I've got molarity here and molarity here. So it's going to turn out to be molarity cubed. And I'll zoom in so it's a little easier to see. Okay, so it's going to be, if you want the units, meters per second is going to equal k times meters cubed. Or if you solve for k, k will equal uh, 1 over meters squared. Oops, that's supposed to be a squared. Oh, ah, yeah, right here. 1 over, uh, not meters, molarity squared times second. So here's the deal with k. It's always going to have different units. So that's why I never told you what the units are. The units will always depend on the order of reaction. So this has an overall order of 3, so it puts an m squared here on the bottom. It's always going to have really funky units, and they're always going to be different. Uh, so you must always find the units of k for each problem that you're doing. It's not going to be like energy where the answer is always in joules. Yeah? Uh, you'll have to put the units, yes. Uh, you know, unless it's a multiple choice that gives you the units. And you'll always have to individually find what the units are by doing what I did here in red at the bottom. You find, put the units of R here. K, that's what we want to find. And you put, since it's third order, the A is a squared and the B is the first power, I put M cubed here. And you always have to do something like that. If it was second order, it would be M squared here or whatever. I yes? For third order, K will always have it. You're right. She said for third order, it always have these units. Sort of, yes. It would be 1 over the concentration unit squared times the time unit. But for example, it could have been in minutes instead of seconds. So you'd have minutes down here. Our problem is given in seconds. Or it could have been a different unit besides molarity, like millimoles per liter. So that concentration unit. But if you say concentration unit squared in seconds in the denominator, yeah, it always has these units for third order. But it's probably not worth memorizing, because then you'd have an infinite number of units to remember. Yes. You're one in a potential <laughs> square here. The reason is, do you see how this is molarity and this is molarity? Well, this molarity is squared uh, because it's second order with respect to A. This one's to the first power because it's first order with respect to B. And so that's M times M squared, or M cubed on the right-hand side. So that's where that is. K, we don't know. And M over S is given in the table up above.